what this looks like within the actual product. All right, so let's jump right into the demonstration itself. Here you can see I'm on the Link Live webpage, and I'm going to be jumping in and specifically looking at two particular files for this demonstration. The first is, we're going to jump in here, Analysis, and we're going to focus on both Discovery and Wi-Fi. Again, those are the two dashboards that we've made significant updates recently with V8.1. And we're going to step right to Discovery. You can see here's the output. And there's also a second file, which we'll speak to in just a minute. That's Wi-Fi output. So from this particular view, you could see you're already presented with a great high-level graphical interface with different widgets, starting with device type, device status, authorization class, IPv4 subnet, VLAN, SSIDs, change use, ch sorry, channel usage, security types, and 802.11 types. So again, an immense amount of data right here, very high level, great perspective. But even from this particular point, we can jump in, for example, and just look at warnings. So you can see now we've kind of drilled in specifically to only those devices. We have a filter now by warnings, and we're presented with three views. This is the graph mode. Second is the table mode. You can jump over here. So same data, exact same data, filtered with the same warnings, just warnings with all the devices. And lastly, the, but, the typology view here, right? So if we go in here, we clean this up a little bit by getting rid of that. And you can see here now, again, same data filtered, and you can jump between these views to make it very simple to move between them. And so from here, if you'd like, you could just say, well, I want to look at a particular, within the warning context, I want to look at channel 11. So now again, we're continuing to drill down you could jump between device mode views here. For instance, you could look at this Raspberry device if you wanted to. You could also do free string searches in addition to all that. So it gives you kind of a great perspective in terms of what's going on within the discovery output. Now, another way you can kind of navigate the same way is from this discovery output, you could click on analysis and it sort of takes you to the same three different modes, graph, tabular, and then lastly, Topology map. And again, you could do the same type of thing. You could drill in here by warning devices. You could do security types and so forth. And so you can see the power of being able to navigate between widgets, look at different views, drill in into specifics, back, back out, see how they're connected. It's a fantastic tool that allows you to sort of get the data you need in the manner in which you need to see it. All right, so now we are back at the main screen. In this particular case, we're going to look at the Wi Fi output. We've just looked at the discovery, and so now the Wi-Fi. So it's a similar kind of high-level perspective with widgets and so forth, and let's kind of talk about what those widgets are. So in this particular case, we're focusing on the Wi-Fi output application data, and it's going to be all, of course, kind of Wi-Fi-centric. So we've got Wi-Fi counts, manufacturer's prefix, client manufacturer prefix, SSIDs, channel usage, 802.11 types, security types, BSSID authorization class, and finally, client authorization class. So again, a wealth of data. And from here, just like on the discovery, you could, from this particular high-level dashboard, simply jump in and say, well, let's just look at all the BSSIDs. So here, we've jumped to the client by BSSID perspective, and you're just looking at BSSIDs for that particular perspective that we clicked on, right? So all the, B all the devices connected to that particular BSSID are now listed here. And you could also um, you could jump between and see this data from a different perspective and so forth. You could also go back here. In this particular case, you can zoom. So if you want to kind of zoom in the specifics of a widget. So you can see these widgets are designed to be very interactive. Similar to Discovery, you can also jump in with this analysis to those various modes. In this particular case, as mentioned before, there are two modes for Wi-Fi, graph and tabular. But there's different views so we can look at this particular view this is overview by channel by ssid by access point clients by bssid and this particular one is clients uh, for the various clients available and this one is probing clients and lastly there's also bluetooth devices so the various products that we listed earlier, the Wi-Fi app can also find Bluetooth. So again, you can drill in and from here, you can do the same sort of thing, drill in more filters, free, free string filters. You can jump between the views. 
If you wanted to, you could jump in and look at a specific device in a tabular view. And again, so both dashboards are about you navigating in whatever manner your workflow suggests is best for you and presenting that data in a manner that's appropriate for the audience or stakeholders uh, for which you are presenting. Okay, so we've talked about a lot here. We've demonstrated quite a bit. Let's just summarize. What have we seen today? Link Live V8.1 offers two new powerful analysis dashboards, Discovery and Wi-Fi. Each offers distinct perspectives into endpoints, infrastructure, and network resources, along with intuitive navigation for investigations and problem resolution. Number two, the Discovery dashboard highlights the Discovery output, offers a summary council view and the ability to drill down again into three distinctive modes, graph, table, and topology. And lastly, the Wi-Fi dashboard focuses on the wireless aspect of the discovery process. And again, two modes, graph and table, and then those seven views, channels, SSID, access points, BSSIDs, clients, probably clients, and Bluetooth devices. Discovery dashboard, again, offers comprehensive perspective into discovery results with easy switching between the modes of visibility, persistent filtering, so you can carry those between the modes. Any sort of offers comprehensive perspective into discovery results with easy switching between the modes of visibility, persistent filtering, so you can carry those between the modes, any sort of filtering. And also you can do free string searches. And lastly, you can drill into, you know, questionable devices, identify them quickly and or anomalies. Now the Wi-Fi dashboard, kind of the same broad concept of providing a thorough overview, this time of Wi-Fi and wireless devices out there with the ability to drill down into key Wi-Fi parameters has described. Again, navigate between the modes and the views and get to the, whatever answer you're looking for in an expeditious fashion. So with that, we've come to the end. I wanna thank you for watching this demonstration. We hope it was valuable for you. This V8.1 is very powerful with a tremendous amount of capabilities that we think is gonna make your life much easier. Just as an aside, if you have not yet claimed your NetAlly tester on Link Live, please be sure to do so. It's very easy and simple, and you're gonna get all the value and so forth that we described here and a lot more. Thank you again.